your ideal vice president, the one that would earn your vote for for Donald Trump. That that could that, that would be co the contributory, uh, Terry, to to earning the vote. I guess a good yeah. VP. When you think <sighs> that would help, Joe Rogan. <laughs> that, that would be funny. <laughs> he'd be like immediately. He'd be like, I was right about all the aliens. Like, I was right. I, I looked in the deep files. I no, that's I think, the thing. Like, yeah. I keep I, when when Trump got elected. I really hoped that he would look into the aliens and some of the conspiracies and just start spilling secrets. He yeah. did spill a secret or two, but not the ones I wanted. Well, not no, those not good ones. Rogan would. Rogan, Rogan would. would. He'd get Rogan too would. fucked up he'd on be... mushrooms. He'd start tweeting like <laughs> the, the, the state secrets. <laughs> state secrets. <laughs> DMT and this is a real alien. I, I, dude, aliens and UFOs have gotten more attention from other U.S. government than they have before. I find that interesting. Like, why do you think that is? Uh, uh, there's been a lot of like. So, so, by the way, UFO, of course, we think of it meaning alien spaceship, but it just means unidentified. And there have been a lot of really credible, hard to explain, unidentified flying aircraft captured by like Navy pilots and stuff like that. And it's getting released a bit more and Congress is starting to look at it. And I just wanted to pay attention to it. I don't even know if it's intelligent light that's flying around, whatever, but I think it's cool and I want to spend some tax dollars on it. I think they're drones. Yeah. And uh, like one thing I consider mm -hmm. that, that I considered because <clears throat> the reason that like smart people always say that it's not most likely not aliens is because all the other planets and stars are so fucking far away. Like it just seems unlikely that they came this far to like drive real fast on our in, in our sky <laughs> for some reason, yeah. you know, but it, like it, that's maybe, exactly what the USS Enterprise does. Checkmate. But yep. maybe <laughs> but maybe they sent something. Maybe they sent. It could be an alien probe, I guess is what I'm saying. Like maybe it's mm. their UAV flying around because those things do such weird shit and all the, the 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 videos I've seen. And I've seen some go underwater. So maybe I like to imagine that deep under the ocean, maybe there's some aqua people. And I don't I I, I don't think that that's that far fetched. There being an intelligent group of people down there under the ocean, real deep. Atlanteans from cartoons, yes, but 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 not the traditional Shock Atlanteans people. that lived on like that the, island. Uh, street shocks, bro. Street Sharks! Oh, what yeah. a great show. Yeah, I thought sick. they were so yeah. cool. Just rollerblading. They never would bite yeah. people, though. I hated what that. The, I, I, I find it hard to believe that, like, if an alien race came from, like, billions of light years away, like, they have the they have the technology to be able to fucking travel, like, instantaneously to another, uh, another fucking star system, that they couldn't have the technology to just not mm. be seen by us. Like, yeah. surely they would be, like, advanced enough to just be like yeah that we don't want these fuckers and to see us but. we also like we always assume that whoever shows up is going to be at the stage where they're like hyperdrive space they're almost like pure energy beings like it could yeah. be you know how all of our movies are like we're sending this to rigel seven the fifth generation will arrive that everyone yeah. else will live <laughs> on this so like it could be that when they show up here it is the inbred lunatics of aliens you know, uh, they're, they're pilgrims. Prior. They are not yeah. sending their best, folks. Murders and religious <laughs> yeah. I uh, <sighs> so they come out of like the uh, come out of like the motherfuckers on Alien Resurrection, where there's just like all the <laughs> all the rapists in their like little fucking religious colony. That's what it would be. Well, there's a um, yeah. remember the um, handmade tail people. There was a TV series. Um, where uh, a spaceship came, like landed in LA. Maybe it was hovering, but it's very similar to um, the um, what's the Blancamp movie um, with the uh, uh, where the where, where the, you had the, the apartheid allegory uh, with the aliens. Um, uh, Sector nine or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sector, like nine, Sector yeah. nine or whatever. It's kind of like that, but um, they they had like kind of bigger heads. But these were like the slave race as well. So like they didn't really know anything cool, like, like the the people who actually knew the cool shit were gone by now. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the same idea, and they're integrating into life in Los Angeles. And of course, there's dealing with like racism, and people are calling them weird slurs because their heads and stuff. But uh, I, I liked that um, the the women's erogenous zone was like their back, whereas like with with us, it's our front, right? Because breasts and, and and stuff and. And there's a, a great scene too. where, like, the guy is da dating an alien. Oh, I've been fucking wrong. 
<laughs> Actually, I can't remember the Just, name of that show. I'm all shoulders, like, baby. <laughs> Reminds me of the aliens from South Park, where he's like, "Oh yeah, suck on my jag on," and he's got like yeah. that dick on his shoulder. Oh, <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, the- remember the the Goobax episode was one of my favorites. Yeah, that was a funny one. <laughs>